Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Now, if you watched my video last Friday, I made this amazing pool noodle rocket flinger that was inspired by Frugal Fun for Boys. Today, I'm gonna take it another step and I'm gonna teach you how to add fins and flames to your amazing pool noodle rocket flinger. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So for this project, I'm gonna be using duct tape, and I'm going to be using glue dots. You could also use a hot glue gun if you want to, or you can use double stick tape. I'm going to definitely need one of my pool noodle flingers. And if you don't know how to make this, just check the link up above or down below for the YouTube video on how to make your pool noodle flinger. I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. I'm going to be using a Sharpie pen. I'm going to need a pipe cleaner, a ruler, and in this case, I'm going to be using some paper streamers. So the first thing that you're gonna do is add your fins. And to add the fins, you're just gonna take a five inch strip of tape. As you can see, I've got a five inch strip of tape here. Pick it up and fold it over onto itself. And seal it off. Now with a pen, a Sharpie pen, you want to just measure in a half an inch at the top and a half an inch from the opposite side on the bottom. And then you're going to take your X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors, it's up to you, and cut between those two lines. This is going to give you two fins. One fin, two fins. What you want to do is make a total of four fins. Now, it's up to you how many of these you want to use. I've found that four works best for me. I've also found that it works just really well without fins, but it's up to you. Some people really like fins. So the next thing I'm going to make is my flames, and then we'll add the fins. So what I've got here are some paper streamers, and I've cut these to 28 inches long, and I've got two reds and two oranges. Find the center, just lay them on top of each other, find the center, and then take a pipe cleaner here and just pull the pipe cleaner up in between the streamers there so that you can lock it in with one little twist. One, two, there you go, sorry, two twists. And now you've got these little rabbit ears here, we're just gonna cut those off. If you got scissors, those would work easier. And there you go. All you're gonna do now is take these rabbit ears and push them into your pool noodle. And that just locks it into place. Now we're gonna add the fins. Now, if you want to, you can use hot glue at this stage, but because pool noodles are prone to uh, melting with hot glue, I like to use just a glue dot. I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife here and I'm just going to cut a little slit. And then I'm going to open it up. I'm going to place my glue dot on the top up here on one side and the bottom of the other side of one of my fins. And I just open up this slit and slide in my fin. There you go. Just give it a little squeeze and then rotate it 90 degrees and repeat this pattern. And there we have our fabulous rocket ready to shoot. And there you have it, your pool noodle complete with fins and flames. And this puppy can really shoot, let me show you. And what I love about the paper flames is they make this really cool sound. So, frugal fun for boys, thank you so much for your inspiration. And everybody else, if you didn't see how to make the flinger, check out Friday's video at sophie-world.com, go to our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to find out how to make one of these amazing things for yourself. Here we go. Did you hear that? Sophie-world.com.